I want you to transfer my photos and videos from iPhone to Windows. So I copied a number of my photos and videos from iPhone and pasted it to a folder on my computer. And then I checked the number of items on both the folders and the total size. As you can see, both of the folders got 56 items with a 2.24 GB. So you would assume all of your photos and videos are copied fully. But now just see how bad and dangerous iPhone phone is when i tried to play a few of my videos that i copied it wasn't playing and then i tried to play the same file on my iphone's folder and as you can see it is playing so then i start to check the file size of both the files you could see both of them got the same file name but one is 376 gb and the other one which is not working is just for GB. Just look what a mess iPhone's file management is. If you would look closer, you would see that the files that were copied got the file size of a file before the copied file. So the file before the video was an image with a smaller file size and it became the file size of the video that was copied. And then the video file size became the size of the photo that was copied because all the file sizes moved by one file to the next file irrespective of whether there were photos or videos so obviously a video that is 370 gb cannot work as a video of 4 gb and if you would just check number of files copied and the size of all the files copied you would make a terrible mistake and think that all of your files were copied properly. And then if you would delete your original files, which I was about to do, you would lose all of your photos and videos forever. How can such a big company like Apple make such a terrible mistake? I'm sure they will blame Microsoft, Windows, and say it is their fault. I don't know, but if you connect an Android phone, which is not by Microsoft, and try to copy your photos and videos to your Windows computer, you wouldn't face so much problems. In here, I have to blame iPhone and Apple for their poor file management. Maybe they just want you to pay extra for iPhone iCloud and just use MacBook and Apple products and nobody else's products. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.